Well, hello everybody. Got the whole puppy crew here. Put a fan in here. You know, I was gonna buy a ceiling fan. And then I got like three of these wall mounted fans. So I'm like, I'll just take one out of my back room. Cause I got two of them back there to keep the air moving. What are you eating again? Are you picking up the grass off the floor? So, I left uh, one inside the house in the back room, and then I bought one in here, and then I just opened this door up. I just come out to shut the AC off. I got a set of 75 in here for the air conditioner, and it's doing 72. And I got my other fan. This was in the master bath. I think I already told you that one. So, brought a few of these out here. MREs. A few cases of them. Just to give me more room. Come on, I'm nuts. Junior one on the other side. Been pretty crappy. It's just starting to cool down now. Oh, it's cooled down so much the fan shut off. Yeah, first we had like a warning of a huge storm coming, and then what's happening is everything's just flying right above us. And one of these times it's going to come right through us, I think. But, uh, let's see, belt comes tomorrow for that. So I can get to put that back together and try to balance it a little bit better. I still need a little bit more weight on that one, but that's all right. What are you doing, poopers? So this finally came in. Uh, this is Rust Solutions. It's a matte black, and you paint it directly over rust, and it's supposed to stop the rust and prevent future rust. So, I think it's like $20 a can for this. How many ounces is it? I don't know. It's a big can. Compared to, uh, I don't know, to a paint can. So it's a little bit bigger than a paint can. 12 ounces. Must be like 16 ounces. So, um, when I play Switcheroni cars, then I'll dump the antifreeze in that while it's up in the air. Spray this certain spots with that. I should have got another can. I don't know how far that'll go, but I used uh, the oil stuff under the car last time. Yep, then I got to do the antifreeze on this. A lot of stuff to do, but it's damn hot out. I don't want to do anything. I haven't touched nothing here. Would you stop picking up stuff and eating it? Spit it out. Spit it out. What are you chewing on? Grass. Stop eating the grass. What's wrong with you? No. Jeez. Such a goofball. Stop eating grass. You're supposed to smoke it, not eat it. So, looking for my weed eater. Oh, there it is. No hits on this yet. I've dropped the... I just get stretched off so far. I um, I dropped the price down to a grand. Hopefully for a quick sale, but that didn't go anywhere. So I figure it's nice out right now. I can go weed whack around the dog fence, and uh, so they can see the bunny rabbits. Where's the bunnies? Huh? Look at the look on his face. Bunnies? Pizza. Bunnies? Well, since it is nice out, I was just watching uh, a thing on YouTube about the Simpsons predictions and how they're coming true and stuff. And, um, you know, how they predicted like a World War Three and some of the other stuff they predicted it's in the past has came true, so shut up. Get out of here. Go. Go. So, he didn't want to go. 
Yeah, you funny. You funny. You had pizza? Cooper the Pope had pizza. You had pizza? Yeah, the Simpson stuff is pretty accurate. Pretty on right on the money. It's unbelievable. A lot of people are, are like, how in the hell are they doing that? There we go. That stupid battery in there. So, I go out and play with the old weed whacker a little bit. I always take a spare battery with me. I always take one from behind. Oh, that's charged up. Anyways, not much going on today. You know, when it's hot out, who the hell wants to do anything outside? I don't. But so that's it. No big, no big nothing's going on. I came out, checked all this stuff, and it's working fine. So, yeah, these are cold now. They were pretty warm earlier. But anyways, that's it. It's like nothing going on. But it's supposed to cool down eventually. I have a feeling when that cold front comes through, we're going to end up with a crap load of storms. So, we'll see what happens. See all these wheels? I keep bending these damn wheels. And I keep catching that back wheel on everything. You know, you go around something, and if there's a pole there, oh, fuck. Well, well, we just broke the shit out of everything now, didn't we? Mr. I can't goddamn walk. Oops. Oh, Christ. So, how's that thing? It's nothing, no. I was going to weld a bar... As I was stumbling my way over here, I was going to weld the bar from here to here to act as a deflector. So when I hit something, it'll just slide past it. And this poor guy on either side keeps getting a crap beat out of it. You know, I don't know what to do with that one, but I could probably um, just tack weld the plate from here to here, you know, to give it some outside support. But. Yeah, last time I mowed over there, my neighbors, I started cutting back into the weeds. So now I get to bring my two-piece weed whacker over here now and, and see how I can fix what I just stepped on and broke with my big clumsy-ass feet. Oh, I don't think that's not going to be a problem. That ain't going to be a problem. Comes apart right there. Just shove more in the pipe. All right, that's an easy fix. All right, everybody, I'm done breaking crap for the moment, but you never know. Oh, what's this reading for voltage with my new battery that stay put? Yeah, 11.9, so. Okay, there we go, good as new. I just had to take this out, drill some new holes, just move it down, and... So, I'm that much shorter, but it's all right. At least I had a pattern to trace on. So, there we go. Broke another thing and fixed it, just like the fan. So, if any belt's breaking, I'm breaking other stuff now. Jeez. I'm having a bad month here so far. Damn. Better watch what I touch. Alrighty. I'll catch everybody later. Have a good one.